All right, guys, we're coming back. Justin, DZ, right after eating a sandwich at lunch, we got a quick uh, little update. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions on what are we doing with NFTs when the market is doing what it's doing right now. And the market right now is pumping, has been pumping like crazy for about a week right now. We're looking at the Bitcoin price. What was Bitcoin last week? Bitcoin was like 34K, 33, 34K. Now it's sitting at uh, 43 yeah, so it's it's getting up there. ETH now above three thousand. Yep. Up Cardano up above. Uh, it's right around a dollar twenty. I know it was just under a dollar. It felt like. Yeah. So uh, sometimes when these coins pop up and really start to skyrocket, you got to figure uh, the fiat amount of these NFTs are also skyrocketing. And then sometimes people they'll want to pull some profits even though it's not so much up in the the native token. Yeah. So what we do. Personally, we're a little more selective. We're a little more particular in the type of projects that we're jumping into when it comes to NFT. We may not ape into everything just yet, like when the market's kind of running up like this. We kind of want it to settle off. The best time to ape into stuff would probably be when Bitcoin settles down and those alts really start moving a little bit. That's kind of the best time to ape into something. But there are some projects that we're looking yeah. to get in. Yeah, so, uh, you know, one that just launched... I aped in. I aped in at the top. I fumbled in. I tried to get a, a wizard. I was at Costco. The mint mm. sold out in minutes. It was totally insane. You could check out their Twitter. Well beyond uh, what we expected. I thought I was going to be able to go home and mint one. You know what? I took the L on that. I bought at the top on JPEG store. I spent two fifty. I think it's down 60-70%. Maybe even more. But you know what? That's okay. Because you diversify. But right now, you know... Is kind of says what we you got to be choosy in what you're getting when these coins are pumping. You got to be more careful. Yeah. So on that point, now that it's kind of retraced a little bit, I think they're sitting at what like 80, 80, yeah, right 80. Yeah, 80. So now I might snipe. I, yeah. I might uh, snipe a rare one, and you know, because there's only 3,333. What are some of the ones you're looking at? So I look at so the the kind of the metric that I look for when I'm going to buy an NFT in this type of market is they have to have a huge community and so Pixelmon is dropped today I think they have one of those what they call the it's auction a Dutch auction oh, the old Dutch auction starting at three ETH nine thousand dollars yeah so you I'm not I'm I'm staying on the sidelines yeah, at three ETH we're we're staying back until it starts lowering a little bit um, but that that's got a, a community 192 just on Twitter. 192,000. Yes, 192,000 on Twitter. So massive community, and that's a good sign. I, I went through and I read through their website. Very cool. What they did is they created a game that's tied to, then they created the actual NFT collection that's actually tied to the game that they created first. So I like that. I like that they were actually went and they, they envisioned the game before they created the NFT. And there's a lot of hype behind this game. So I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, there's another one uh, kind of on my radar. If you got the art punk early, congratulations. After that video, you saw it double. You saw it go from 1.8, uh, no, no, even lower than that. It was uh, closer to 0.8, I'm sorry. And then next thing you know, it's about 1.8. So we saw a huge, huge influx of volume on the art punks NFT on Solana. But they have another project, and that's the NFT frames. So you can still take part in that ecosystem. I don't. I'm not saying it's a it's a port just like a board ape and a mutant ape and a kennel, but it's still the same team. There's still some of the similar utilities with their art token. So uh, you know the punks the punks have uh, skyrocketed. You know, maybe want to wait for that to cool down a little bit. But the, NF, the NFT frames they're uh, I think they're being slept on. That's yeah, all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying too. So. We also have the, you know, our favorite Cardano projects. We got the the Borg Club chips, which is basically the equivalent of the mutant serum. So the chip is going to corrupt your Borg. That's happening on the 9th. And then we have our Boss Cat planets coming out on the 13th. 13th yeah. yeah. And then uh, middle of the month, Llamas mutations going live with the Tier 3 serums. Yeah. So uh, the next week is going to just be nuts. But like we said, we're being more choosy. We're being more careful because crypto is pumping right now. Yeah. Now, if crypto starts to take a dump, Bitcoin takes a huge rejection. Guess what? That's when we're going to be a little bit more loose. You give me some Cardano under a dollar. I'm spinning it like rice. I'm yeah. throwing it out like rice at a wedding. I'm just throwing Cardano at everything. But when things are pumping, you got to be a little more careful. got to be a little more choosy. So 
I think that's uh, good enough right now for an update. We're going to be, I think Deezy's going to be hitting you tomorrow with a really good video on a particular project with a particular marketplace. Uh, I probably said too much already. So y'all be looking forward to that tomorrow morning. It's going to be great. Uh, I think that's all we got. You got yeah, uh, just keep an eye out. Um, let's just say uh, <clears throat> there's another marketplace in Cardano. Ooh. And there's a project tied to that marketplace. Competition's healthy. That's all I'm saying. Hey, you know what that project is if you've been watching. Yeah, this is your early warning. So you guys, uh, you know, that, that's, that's your hint. That's your hint. Yeah. All right, guys. Y'all take it easy.